Hey guys, I'm back with another playthrough. Uh, kind of doing this because just to show everybody the little tricks that I picked up uh, playing this game throughout the years. Uh, this is one of my favorites from my childhood. So it was very frustrating, you know, obviously, like any game uh, when you first start off. It's challenging, but uh, quickly noticed something in this game that helps me out greatly, and I'm here to teach you guys that. Um, hopefully, I won't die too much. Uh, hopefully, I won't die at all. I'm going to try and just get every house, as many subscribers as possible, so I can show you guys this and uh, hopefully not die and make it through the week unscathed. So without further ado, let's start this playthrough. It's going to kind of be a little bit of a speed run as well, but I'm not going for any records or anything, so... Alright, so first off... Monday, Monday. Somebody has a case of the Mondays. Alright, so first little trick that I found out that if you line up your tire with the left side of the sidewalk here in such a way you should miss almost everything except for when the tricyclist pulls out in front of you the grim reaper will walk in front of you and the stupid break dancer but for the most part this is the ultimate safe zone right here you will have to waver from it occasionally obviously as i have done through block one um the second trick is knowing when to throw the papers, and typically this house isn't too bad. I mean, it all depends. Throwing the papers all depends on your speed. So what I like to do is constantly just hold the up on the D-pad so he's at full or maximum speed. And for those L shape upside down L-shaped houses, you want to throw it pretty much immediately as you get to the the sign there. So, and just hold up, otherwise it won't, uh, the trajectory won't, uh, proje uh, propel the paper to the correct location. Uh, I'm not trying to get any, you know, kind of, uh, all in the mailbox or anything. I'm just trying to make it to the door and, you know, get my subscribers. So, here's, this will probably be the only time I play through the obstacle course because there's another little trick that I'll show you in Tuesday that you don't have to, you can bypass um, the obstacle course. Alright, so I should have at least one subscriber. Yep. I mean, you only, you can only get one subscriber per day and that's only if you hit every single house that is a subscriber. And obviously, as the days progress on, the levels get harder. So, once again, just follow that line on the sidewalk with your front tire. I noticed that most of the time when someone dies, it's because the front tire is pretty much your guide. So, wherever your front tire will be is where you'll die. Or is how you'll hit things, I should say. So right there, next to the fence, as soon as I hit that uh, right side of the fence, I'm going to throw a paper and keep holding it up, and it should always hit the door. Well, that's a bit of RNG right there. don't usually get the lawnmower and the uh, tricyclist. But this game is... You know, it's, it's very simple. It's it's a great challenge for people starting off. This one, I could never figure out how to get that house. And every time I got it, I always lost it. All right, so I'm going to die right there. Completely bypass the uh, obstacle course. And if you had noticed, I had three lives. And if that ever starts here. I will still have three lives, so there's a bit of a... I want to 
want to say a glitch, but I don't think it's really a glitch because technically the start of the um, obstacle course is at that um, that medium or that section of the grass. So the trick for the new houses is uh, just like any of the other houses, it's alignment and placement of when you throw the papers. So for those weird houses, it's typically um, visual wise, it's typically the fences. So if you notice, I mostly hit the button every time I'm near a fence, except for these. Those are just right open. Um, right here. And it will go to the door. For houses like that, it would be the black fence. This one's a little tricky when there's a lawnmower or RC car, whatever the hell you want to call it. You gotta throw it before it makes that um, that uh, turn to go up. Okay, so if I die right here, I'll do the same and I'll still have three lives. But you gotta throw the paper on those upside down L-shaped houses. <clears throat> as soon as you hit the the sign that's out front of the driveway and right before the lawnmower slash RC car makes that turn to go up otherwise you're, you'll just hit the lawnmower slash RC car I don't know what the heck it is I, to me it's an it's a runaway lawnmower but other people say it's an RC car so yeah we'll have a complete week of you guys just look watching how I threw the papers, um, when I threw the papers, right now, like as soon as I get pretty much in line with the fence there, the black fence, is when I throw it. The dogs, you never want to go to the left, otherwise you'll die, because there's no way to throw a paper to, the, to your right. Right next to the fence, just keep, just hold, I just hold that up button, so he's always at maximum speed. But pretty much the reason I align myself the way I do is for the skateboarder, because out of some, you know, if there's some weird freaking, unless there's some weird glitch, or some weird, you know, instance in the game, he should not hit you at all. So I'm gonna die here again. I hate the obstacle course. I very rarely ever do the obstacle course. <clears throat> but right where I died there is the beginning of the obstacle course, and if you die within the obstacle course boundaries, then you don't lose lives, and you can get through this game a lot quicker. Um, another reason I, another, yeah, another reason I ride here is because using the visuals that are closest to the paper boy allows me to not have to pay attention to the actual houses because trying to split that and pay attention to where you're riding and the things coming at you is a bit annoying. So it's, yeah, like I said, it's all about visual visual aids here in this in this game but I hope this helps you guys out um, for anybody that's struggling with paperboy so right there I'm gonna fuck it when I'm next to that black fence just avoid those. Pretty much I always make sure that I throw before I try it, before I start avoiding any of the obstacles. Oh, please make it, yes. And we'll just huck away. Th swing away, swing away. So, two more days. Wish me luck. Hopefully I can do this without getting hit. Now that I said that, I probably jinxed myself, but... That first house. If you if you can't hit that first house, then you're pretty much you might as well just give up on the game. 
Those are the easiest houses to hit outside of these. But yes, the trajectory of the papers is based on how fast you are going. So if you're going slow, they'll pretty much go parallel with you, like horizontal-wise with you. If you're going fast, they'll arc in, well, I shouldn't say arc, but they'll go at more of an angle up into the house. So if you um, time it just right, you can always hit the door and I'm going to die here. Oh my god, I didn't. Always take out that dog first. Oh, I lost him. I didn't hear the freaking... Dang it. Oh well. It's because I threw the paper like one or two frames too soon. So it actually hit the side of the house instead of the registered. Oh, I got. Oh, I did get him. Oh, wow. I, my bad. Awesome. Okay, last day here. So. I'm actually surprised at that. I thought I lost him. You should always have enough papers. I'm gonna. Uh, there's no way around that. I could have went way far to the left there, but look at that cluster. I mean, seriously. All right, so just one guy down. That's no big deal. Anyway. Yes. Like I said, the only time you'll really need to uh, maneuver around something is. when they're in the way there. The brake dancers, the freaking lawnmowers and the tricyclists, the freaking grim reapers. I mean, this game, this was an arcade game, so it was all based around points. It wasn't really based around anything else, so... Just, just to see and prove to your friends that you were the best in getting the high score. I knew I didn't get that one. I threw that paper way too late. So, maximum subscribers here. If I would have made that last one, we would have only had, what, one, two, three houses, three red houses. But since I missed that last one, it's no big deal. It's still, this video still shows, you know, my little trick on how to get through the entire week in one run. Granted, I died once, which I really didn't want to do. Um, yeah, gee, but after you finish the game, it just restarts. Amazing Paperboy! Woohoo! So, study this video, learn the tricks, go out and impress your friends. Thanks for watching.